Hey everybody, I'm Gardner, the Linux Gamer. I, I promise this will be the last video I do about the game jam. I'm just so seriously impressed by your guys' creativity that I wanted to highlight six games you can go download and play right now. If your game isn't on this list, just know that you're not a loser. There were so many excellent entries, and each one I played was fun in its own way. I have no real criteria for picking these games and featuring them on this list. These are just submissions that really grabbed my attention as a gamer and as a critic. So let's get started. Number 6. ZZZ ZZZ is a 2D puzzle platformer. The mechanics are relatively simple. Your objective is to get the treasure chest to the goal. When your laser beam touches an object, click to swap positions with that object. The graphics are simple and high contrast with a nostalgic quality to them. My suggestions. Tweak the controls so they feel a little less floaty and more responsive. Obviously add some more puzzles, and I'd recommend disabling the engine's native bilinear filtering. I say embrace the pixel aesthetic. Number 5. Space D Space D is a racing game that is perhaps the most complete game on this list. The game has 8 players, U plus 7 computer players. Each computer player behaves slightly differently and poses their own challenge. You have a boost which you can use indefinitely, and the game also has a shop where you can upgrade your ship, and there's also a level editor. My suggestions? Make the controls tighter, and perhaps limit boosting to either a cooldown meter or a pickup. Perhaps give tracks some verticality with ramps and jumps. Add some visual feedback to player inputs. More textures and detail in the environment might give a better sense of speed. And finally, a variety of ships is a must. Number 4. Olymporion Olymporion is one of the least completed games on this list, but there's something here that grabbed me instantly. There's a classic feel to the game's minimal 4x mechanics that I found captivating. Currently you can manage resources on your planets and conquer other planets, but so far that's it. Most of the game's interface is a placeholder, which I found disappointing, but these disabled options denote serious ambition on the part of the game's developer. I would love to see further development of this game down the road. My suggestion is, complete this game. You seem to have a great sense of direction for this title, so implement the features that you've promised. I love the simple look of the game too. In my opinion, just focus on the mechanics. Number 3. Armor Heart Surprisingly, Armor Heart is one of the few multiplayer games that was entered into the jam. That being said, Armor Heart is a phenomenal title that packs loads of fun into an interesting control scheme. Speaking of controls, there's something special. Each mech handles like a tank. You hold forward on both control sticks to move forward. You rotate by opposing forward and backward motion. You can also jump and dash by pulling or pushing the analog sticks apart. You also have four weapons at your disposal, each with limited ammo displayed on your legs. You use each weapon with the trigger and shoulder buttons, and when you die you're randomly equipped with new weapons. My suggestions? Give more audio and visual feedback to the player. The weapons sound great, but they should also feel great too. Visual and haptic feedback would be awesome. Add more maps, fix level geometry clipping, and maybe sprinkle in some secret areas and pickups. And definitely think about network play too. Number 2. Retro Island War I had to bust out my old Raspberry Pi Zero for this one, and the game kinda chugged along since it was designed for the Pi 2B. But it's an interesting little title with top-notch visual design, and it has a ton of potential. My suggestions? An x86 build would be great, and maybe an in-game tutorial. It took me a long time to figure out how to play this game, and I don't have footage of me playing it correctly here either. And then maybe add more maps to play on, and I'd say this game is ready for release. Number 1. The Spicy Meatball Saves the Day of all the innovative controls and thought-provoking mechanics that came out of the jam, I think this game surprised me the most. Granted, the developer Cheeseness has been working on his own custom first-person text adventure engine for a while, but this is my first experience with it. Spicy Meatball puts you inside a text adventure, and your job is to read along and enjoy the story. Interactions are limited to a single click every now and then, represented by an icon on the screen. From there, it's a choose-your-own-adventure, and it's up to you. My suggestions? Add positional sound effects and maybe animate the backgrounds a little more, and you've got yourself a real winner. Well, those are my thoughts on some standout games from the Linux Game Jam 2017. What do you think? Did I miss your favorite game? If I did, let me know in the comments or tweet at me at the Linux Gamer. You can also become a patron and support the channel over on Patreon. 
If you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button, smash the like button, and as always, thank you so much for watching.